Alrighty, got something uh, very interesting and something I'm got to try figuring out. Uh, I mean, I basically know what it needs, or I do know what it needs, and but part of it's going to be practically impossible. But let's show you exactly what's going on. So this is the billet Lamborghini uh, for Houston Crosta, and we've had similar problems here, uh, and we've just had to go up on higher weight oils. Uh, but I thought I would give you the direct, uh, direct thing that is happening here. So this is billet aluminum block, billet aluminum, uh, girdle main cap, one piece main cap. All right. So the, what we're going to show you is how much the block grows and increases bearing clearance. Okay. So our gauge currently is set up at crankshaft size. Here's the crankshaft. All right. Crank is set up at crank, or I'm sorry, the gauge is set up at crankshaft size. So what you're reading here is clearance. That is one and eight tenths. Oops, sorry. One and eight tenths. One and eight tenths. As we're going, as Mitchell's going down and checking each bearing, one and eight tenths. And then eight tenths, maybe seven tenths. One in seven tenths. Six, seven, that's seven tenths. That's a uh, one thousand. So it, just so you know, this is zero. This is one thousandths. That would be two thousandths clearance. That would be one and a half thousandths clearance at that hash mark. And so that's one uh, and eight tenths clearance. And one and eight tenths. One and that one's a little bit tighter. One and six tenths. And on the outside of the bearing, one and eight tenths. Okay. So that's very acceptable. I mean, you're talking tenths of a thousandth of an inch, not a thousandth of an inch, a tenth of a thousandth of an inch. So uh, this block right now is 65 degrees, stone cold, been sitting in the shop all night. So what we're going to do is use the old torpedo heater and heat up the block. We'll rotate it over a few times. I'll show you that and uh, get this into it and then let it settle. And uh, try to get this block up into pretty close to 200, which it would normally operate at. Actually, it operates a little bit higher temperature than that. And then we'll go right back in with the gauge still set up at the exact same number on the crankshaft and show you what the bearing clearance grows to. There you go. You can see the thing's just blowing hot air. And we'll let it sit there for just a few minutes and then roll it over so we're heating both sides and try to get it all nice. All right, let's check some temperature.
up here and check temperature. So I think we're pretty darn close. We're gonna let it settle in. And while we're letting it settle in, we look on the floor. Look. Tormenting of dogs. It's gonna pounce on it. Ah. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna let this just settle in. Just let it rest for a second. Try to uh, equalize the heat. I think we're pretty, pretty consistent. And it's always uh, hit, infrared heat guns hate shiny surfaces, so. Like, it says it's 84 right there because it's shiny. It reflects off. And uh, not uh, 84, obviously, because I can't really touch it. Uh, but we can come down here on dull surfaces, including the main bearing itself. And we're not going to be able to get this up to 200. Like I was hoping. That one's a little shiny. I think we're going to be able to get it up to about 100. And after it settles down, just kind of heat soaks in. Looks like it's going to be at about 150. Let's see. Yep. The cylinder bore, for some reason, does uh, give me a better temperature. 160s, 160s, so <clears throat> pretty solid, 155 to 160 degrees. Let's look over here. Yeah, 57, 62, and 50, yeah, 50. See how temperature dog is. Ninety-four. All right. All right. Let's check it out. Now, uh, we're hot. One hundred fifty to one hundred sixty. And now, this thing is now four and a half. Four and three. Don't want to touch the block, it's real hot. Yeah. Four and a half, four and six tenths. Yeah. Four and four tenths, four and six tenths. So, long story short, at a hundred and fifty to hundred and sixty degrees. The main clearance has opened up to four and a half thousand. So I would calculate it out since I can't get this block to 200 degrees easily. I'm not going to bother getting it to 200 degrees. We're already proven out that what, that it's growing and it's obviously going to grow more. Uh, I'm sure I could reinvent the wheel and come up with some ways of making exactly 200 with hot water and all sorts of, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do, but we don't need to do that. We're just proving that out. So what you have to think about here is, okay. And what the problem is with these uh, Lamborghinis is that you are oil pump limited. It has a stock oil pump. And the stock oil pump is a big deal and a mother of a thing to deal with. Uh, and it's not adjustable. Uh, it doesn't have enough volume for these type motors. It, it, it should be more. I think the best process somewhere down the road here is going to be an exterior pump or an uh, outside pump that will be able to put a better pre bigger pressure section in it that will flow more oil so <clears throat> the um what we're seeing here is if so as the block heats up oil clearance gets bigger in the main as it gets bigger in the main the rod doesn't the rod gets minimally bigger because the rod is steel 
And so it gets minimally bigger. Uh, all the oil pressure squirts out from the mains and doesn't go up to the rod. Now, in the ideal world, it would stay smaller. It would, uh, clearances would all stay correct and it would force oil up to the connecting rod appropriately. Uh, here, um, it still does, but be when we have these great big clearances like this, um, we got to run a really heavyweight oil because the black grows so much and oil pressure goes away. Uh, if you really try to run a very lightweight oil in here, it definitely doesn't have enough oil pump in it. Wouldn't maintain oil pressure. But I can't shrink up the main clearance anymore uh, to account for it being hot because if it was stone cold, it would just lock up the crank. So if I made this thing, it's four thousandths right now at 150, and let's say it's five thousandths at uh, 200, has five thousandths of bearing clearance at five at uh, 200 degrees because it's growing, the lumen material is swelling, it is going to do that. <coughs> um, let's say I my goal was to have two thousandths of main clearance or even three thousandths of main clearance, I can't shrink this down two thousandths because cold on a cold start it would have zero and it would just be locked up destroy the bearing so and it's not a practical application to have uh any of these uh, lamborghini customers in this application sit there and preheat their engine uh before they start it mm. it'd be great if you could um that'd be oil, always beneficial uh, a lot of people a lot of racing functions do that uh these kind of applications and depending on the customer you're just not going to happen so this is one of those areas where we have to take the uh, um, the the happiest compromise. Our only compromise in this is try to get the main clearance as tight as possible, uh, cold, and to account for the heat growth and have appropriate weight oil. They still have to get the oil hot because they still have to flow. Uh, you can't run on cold uh, 50 weight oil, but... Um, you know, there's just compromises that have to be made here. Now, uh, like I said, this is uh, Houston Crosta's engine. And what we had done was, like we like to do, and we always do on the Lamborghini stuff, is uh, when, after we get done running them, we like to check things out. And as we check things out, we saw, ah, oh, these bearings just are like, just weren't as perfect as what we wanted them to be. So it's like, we got to go through here and check this out. We saw that it was making it like 90 to almost 100 pounds oil pressure. Uh, going into the motor um, but I think most of all that is actually just squirting out the block um, nothing's wrong it doesn't hurt anything we're going to make one more modification in the block but those are the kind of things that we do here is we just we want to after it's run we uh, want to check things out make sure it's all cool um, on this particular one what we're going to do is we're changing this up a little bit and we're doing a different oil passage in it to try to make the oil flow better yet uh, and then I'm gonna re-dyno it, then we'll retake the pan back off of it and check it all out again. That's all no charge to Houston because we wanna make sure that the things are uh, correct. So when we run them here, that's what we can do. Uh, a lot of times if uh, we can't run them, uh, as you send out an engine that we don't, don't run here, uh, or somebody else finishes, puts the EFI on, does the tune-up, does everything, uh, oil system, and I'm not involved in it, it's really hard to, obviously hard to, uh, look at or take care of any kind of issues so anyways that is really good information keep thinking about that of how you would do that uh if we made the oil clearance right at operating temperature it would lock up cold um so the only good uh, the best option for that it, like on our smx's is, is more oil pump uh you just have to move more oil you have to have uh, more volume there to take care of that kind of issue to maintain the bearing clearances. So, uh, something very interesting for all you guys. Uh, oh, I'll show you the oil pump here. This is, this is the Lamborghini oil pump. This entire unit is part of the oil pump and heat, cooling, dry sump. Um, as of anything we have found so far, there is no way of increasing... Let's see, which one is the pressure section here? I think this is the pressure section. That's the pressure section. Okay, this is the pressure section uh, of increasing uh, the pressure section here, uh, which someday is probably the thing that really needs to happen. 
Anyways, I am uh, Steve Mars. Have a great day. So this, uh, just to be clear, so this oil pump is, uh, when I talk about bigger oil pump, I mean a larger section. We're not talking about increasing the pressure by closing the bypass. It's not on the bypass. Uh, it's uh, not using the bypass at all. It doesn't have enough pump in order to come up against the bypass. So it needs a physically wider section, a physically larger pump in here in order to flow more oil. We can flow more oil if, and then it will build pressure. Uh, when you are losing oil pressure or the oil pressure is a little bit down from what you'd like to see it and you have to put thicker oil in it, it is typically because you have uh, not enough oil pump for the oil clearance that is in the crankshaft or is in the tire motor. So just a little bit of tech there, trying to help our, uh, people understand how it's going or what's going on here. And um, there's some things that are just not repairable. It's some things that we're just gonna have to keep a track of, uh, monitor and be careful with in these big high horsepower, big high horsepower engines of Lamborghinis or anything. You know, keep in mind too, this is all water pump stuff. So, I mean, uh, just throwing a water or throwing a new oil pump on it in the package of a Lamborghini is tough. It's not just something you just bolt on like in a race, regular race car.